we are now at uh, Portacot Road. You know, last time we came here is just a uh, stone base that was here. So, but uh, we are coming from uh, Niger Street Axis, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, you know down there has been asphalted. You know, sometimes they want to show that uh, you know they are working, and they will show you that uh, they are doing the road markings and uh, the whole lot of them. But meanwhile. Probably half of the road is not, uh, you know, asphalted. But we are going to move down to be sure of the exact situation of this road, and uh, we will report it to you in this. It has happened some other places, but the main thing is that let them stay finish the job. Yes, uh, we are now at uh, Potakot Road, Fege Onicha, and we are coming from Niger Street Axis. We are going to show you Potakot Road today. However, you know, sometimes the contractor decides on what to do. They might decide to do half of the road and mark it. It's none of their business, but them, their own is to finish the road at uh, the stipulated time of the construction. So we are going to show you Potaco Road today and what is happening there, but we are going to go to the details of this road to see the details of everything that is going on. Yes, we are going to the details from that end to the other end to see where they stopped on that road. And next time we we'll expect what they are going to do, you know, to make sure that they are meeting up to the demand and the expectations of the people and the government that gave them that contract. Yes, uh, we are part of uh, the eyes of the government and uh, sometimes we say some things here that will draw the attention of the government on what is going on. So we are all at the same, you know, target. We are hitting at the same target to make Anambra a better place and Southeast at large. So let's go to the field. Thank you. This is uh, Niger Street, the street that leads directly into the Onichame market. And uh, just about uh, 10 meters from here, we are going to divert right into Potakoturu. Yes, we are standing right there at the intersection of the Potakot Road with the uh, Niger Street Road. Wow, what a very neat uh, starting point of this road. Yes, um, I tell you that uh, in some places, even in some African countries, whenever they paint road like this, the road remains like this because of constant maintenance and uh, you know keeping it in good shape by sweeping some people wash their roads you know to make it sand free but i bet you by the time vehicles started plying this road when we come back again you will not know this road again because it will be full of sand everywhere dead Nobody cares, nothing happens to it to keep it neat and the rest of them. This is a known fact, but we will not keep quiet, we will still talk about it. Probably there may be plans, the governments are, you know, cooking to ensure that uh, the roads are free from sand, you know, waste and the whole lot of them. Just imagine and see how neat these roads are just how sweet and uh, attractive the roads are. If the roads continue to be like this, this is enough attraction for people that wants to, you know, do one or two things. There is this, uh, they will have this impression that, uh, yes, there are good people living here, people that cares about the environment and the whole lot of that. It is not magic, it's a known fact, and until we start looking into details concerning our environment, our road, we are not going anywhere. It will be the usual wake up, go to market, come back, rest. We need to add some, you know, ingredients in our nature and Anambra State at large. Yes, God has blessed us with uh, commercial activities, but we need to pimp them. We need to twitch them, you know, make them look 
uh, you know, a modern age commercial, you know, things that we are doing in the state. That's what we are saying. People have been saying and talking about this uh, open drainage. We we here uh, we have been saying it that it encourages people to come and dump waste inside those gutters. And aside that, government don't, you know, enforce the law that they said that is against, you know, unhealthy environment, bushy environment, people having waste in front of their, you know, gutters. There is no enforcement on that, so these things keep happening. Well, uh, um, um, the road markings are still going on, but we want to get to that place that uh, the road probably where they stopped for now to mark the road or whatever. So, but we are moving down there to see exactly what the situation looks. Yes, uh, this is the people doing the road markings, as you can see them doing their job. They have a department in the uh, government ministry. That is an agency, a ministry, part of government in charge of uh, this road. So, what are you doing? Look at that, I'm going to Okay. So probably one day the government might decide to have people in charge of uh, road construction, buy all the equipment, you know, do the construction by themselves and every other thing instead of uh, this idea of uh, giving money to contractors, government can actually employ first class you know, graduates from our universities, open up a, a ministry, part of their works that will be in charge of road construction. But I don't know our system and how it works, you know, this idea of uh, looking for money everywhere and there and uh, the whole lot of things are in a mess. I don't know, but this should be the actual things to do and to save money. Well, let's
actually the idea of having speed bombs is quite okay because we know the kind of uh, motorists that we have in this part of the world if you don't do something that will forcefully stop them they can never obey rules and regulations probably because of the lapses in enforcement and uh, that is the major reason if people always draw their ear that this thing is wrong and uh, there is a way of uh, punishment if possible jail terms people will not be doing such but speed bombs are the only avenue to forcefully get them to a stop and slow down you know why they continue with their movement where that place is Oga Junction we just passed Oga Junction and we are moving down towards um, that uh, premier our uh, life beer side as the exit we are moving down to now Yes, that blue fence, you can see it by the right, it belongs to Life Beer. That is the, at the back is Premier Beer. So that is the location. Well, government has to do a, a, a very, a, you know, important job here after constructing road. By now, they are supposed to have uh, fashioned out ways to sweep the roads and uh, keep it clean. If it's not done, dust and sand will come and, you know, deface all these road markings. You will not see them again. It, it looks like it will become as if it has not been marked. Well, um, uh, well, they have done it, but um, like I said, it would have been better if there is a way of cleaning the road and ensure a proper way of cleaning the road before putting on these uh, road markings because eventually it will be covered and they are gone that is the thing it's not that the markings are not there but they will be covered that is the problem So um, uh, there is no need delaying all these things. Eventually, eventually, I know that it must come to that. We must not live and continue living in this kind of uh, dirty environment and uh, you know dirty roads. We must move forward and make our environment and place attractive for ourselves and the outsiders. That is the plan and that is the target of the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, and I believe and I hope that uh, that target will be met, making Anambra a smart mega city, smart mega city, proper road network, of course road standard must be there, you recognize the pedestrians and their safety. You don't recognize pedestrian safety if you give them open drainages and the walkways are so rough. That is the idea. I am speaking, I know what I'm talking about. I am not guessing because I have done some little research on these things. Well, we are moving towards, uh, this is St. Jude Axis by the left, St. Jude Catholic Church. And uh, lo and behold, the asphalting has uh, reached here. Even the road markings, some of them are done by the side, both sides. Wow, that's a good one. And then uh, we are still moving ahead towards uh, Opi Wake.
Yes, uh, we are just close to Ezamata. This is Ezamata Motopark by the left and the GUO by the left also. Then by the right is, the, we call it Ugualsa Park. That is a very large park behind Opiweka, Lagos Park. Well, uh, uh, you can see that uh, the length, the whole length of the road has been asphalted and uh, both sides, you know, marked. Till I come your way next time, I say bye for now.